Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. You know, the last year, well, 12 to 15 months, we've been battling out here with the police, just doing what we're called to do, is preach the gospel, feed these people, and, and pray for them as well. And I just want to give just a shout out and accolades to my lawyer, Sarah Miller. She's doing a fantastic job and got, you know, two tickets thrown out and actually some other ones. So just thank you for that. And uh, we're just happy to be out here. We're anticipating a little bit of static and pushback by the police as I was served with the Justice Rook order last weekend. So we'll see what they do today but that's not going to stop what we do. It's not going to stop our convictions and the movement of God out here on this God-given corner. And if they uh, end up do arresting you, are you going to continue? Absolutely. No doubt about it. If they arrest me, I just feel like, man, I'm counted worthy to suffer for the name's sake, and I just rejoice like the apostles and acts rejoice, and uh, so be it. What's going on guys? K2 here with Rebel News. This weekend I caught up with Derek Reimer who is from Mission 7 and helps out with Street Church a few nights a week. Last weekend Peter Riker was served in the May 6th order simply for feeding the homeless. So I went to document what I thought might have been a terrible day. I learned that Derek had already been served and right when I got there the police arrived. The police informed him that he is now allowed to do street church under the new amendment from AHS with no obvious mention of the pro-Palestine protest that were blatantly left alone. We are now free to gather as long as we wear masks, don't serve food, and try our very hardest to socially distance. Thanks AHS. Derek had a few choice words for the police after being told he needed to mask the homeless and that he can't feed them. A simple thank you and he continued. It's a true freedom here. Don't be deceived and don't miss it. That's true freedom in Jesus Christ, guys. But I can be in a jail cell tonight or tomorrow or what have you. It doesn't matter. I don't care. But I am free in the Lord. It doesn't matter. When I was in a jail cell like seven years ago, I wasn't free in the Lord. I wasn't. So I'm not afraid of going back. I'm not afraid of, of because I, I count it worthy that I'm, I'm counted worthy to suffer, you know, shame for the namesake. That I, I'm, I'm able to suffer for Jesus' name. For those who don't know, Derek Reimer is one of our first Fight the Fine clients alongside Pastor Art. Fight the Fines is a Rebel News Civil Liberties Project where we put normal people who have received lockdown tickets together with lawyers who will fight their lockdown tickets in court at no cost to them. Derek was given thousands of dollars in lockdown tickets for feeding Calgary's homeless. The city called it an illegal gathering, but through the support of Rebel News viewers at fightthefines.com, Derek's lawyer Sarah Miller was able to get his tickets tossed. I ended up going home with Derek as we weren't sure if anything was going to happen. We got home safe and I decided to go the next day as well. Be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The next day was more relaxed. I got an update from Derek on his case. You know, the last year, well, 12 to 15 months, we've been battling out here with the police, just doing what we're called to do, is preach the gospel, feed these people, and, and pray for them as well. And I just want to give just a shout out and accolades to my lawyer, Sarah Miller. She's doing a fantastic job and got, you know, two tickets thrown out and actually some other ones. So just thank you for that. And uh, we're just happy to be out here. We're anticipating a little bit of static and pushback by the police as I was served with the Justice Rook order last weekend. So we'll see what they do today, but that's not going to stop what we do. It's not going to stop our convictions and the movement of God out here on this God-given corner. And if they uh, end up do arresting you, are you going to continue? Absolutely. No doubt about it. If they arrest me, I just feel like, man, I'm counted worthy to suffer for the name's sake. And I just rejoice like the apostles and acts rejoice. And uh, so be it.
Now the police did come the second day. They looked at me and waved, and then looked at Derek and said, have a nice day. These positive updates are totally worth following as the last three weeks we've had a nightmare here in Alberta with the pastors. Pastor Stevens got a new bike and held a normal worship. Pastor Pavlovsky was able to publicly baptize his daughter with his church. And Pastor Peter and Derek are now allowed to feed the homeless. Well, kind of. We're going to continue to follow these brave men, and we're going to continue to bring you the other side of the story. K2 for Rebel News. We'd like to keep healthy people like Derek Reimer, but we need your help to do so. Please go to fightthefines.com. You can help us and them through the Democracy Fund, where you'll qualify for a tax receipt for your charitable donation. Fightthefines.com.